Coming up in this week's video is five meditation myths totally and utterly busted. Hey everybody, it's Harry Kalimnios here from thethoughtgym.com, here helping you become that superhuman leader that I know that you can be. And in this week's video, I want to share with you five meditation myths and totally make them busted. Okay, myth number one is you know, I have to sit in lotus position and I've got to sit there for an hour and meditate. Firstly, you don't have to sit in lotus position, which is cross-legged. You can sit in any position that you want, as long as really that your spine is upright generally, but you can sit in a chair, you can sit cross-legged, you don't have to sit in any kind of weird uh, feet behind the head type posture, and you don't have to do it for an hour, you don't have to do it for half an hour, you don't have to do it for even 20 minutes, okay? You can just do as long as you possibly need to or want to or have time for, okay? You do not need to spend an hour a day sitting in Lotus to do meditation. Sitting in the chair is fine, just close your eyes, find a quiet space that you can start to do a little bit of meditation. Number two, often people think is that they have to have no thoughts and they've got to reach some kind of altered state of consciousness. Okay, that is not the goal, that is not reality, at least for not for my experience and anyone else I know. You can't have no thoughts, it's really, really challenging to have no thoughts. The aim of meditation though is to really observe those thoughts, see them coming in to your mind and then just allow them to release and come out again. And eventually, yes, maybe the gap between each thought will become longer and longer, but really what most meditation does, a lot of meditation at least, they focus on something specific because that will keep one thing on your mind. That might be the breath for some people, it might be a candle, um, it might be sensations in the body even, depending on the meditation that you're doing. But the idea is not to have no thoughts because that's virtually impossible, but it's really just to allow there maybe to be a, a little bit of a bigger gap between the thoughts and also to allow those thoughts to come and pass. And you certainly don't need to reach some kind of altered state of consciousness. I know sometimes in meditations people can feel maybe more connected with things, the environment around them, they may see a little bit more insight into things, maybe they do reach some weird state of altered consciousness. Um, that generally only happens once in a while for most people, it might happen after intense meditation, but if we're looking at practical, daily, modern meditation, and you've just got a few minutes here and there just to calm the mind, we're not looking to transcend into kind of another state of being. We're just looking to slow ourselves down a bit. We're just looking to focus on our thoughts, one thought in particular, and allow the other ones to just come and go. Okay, myth number three is that you need to be trained or you need to go to some expensive meditation center to learn how to meditate. I know there are many of these kind of places and I'm not saying it's a bad idea to go and learn properly how to meditate. I will say that I didn't, at least not for the first couple of years. I in fact just decided one day to sit and just count my breaths. That's all I did. I started counting in and out, in and out, up to 10. And I did read around meditation. I read quite a few books and I tell you one book that I remember off the top of my head right now that I really liked and this was Meditation for Dummies. I thought that was a really good introduction into meditation. I've subsequently both read more books. I've gone on more, I guess, formalized retreats and trainings for meditation. But ultimately meditation is a very personal practice and it can be useful to have a teacher maybe to answer some questions that you might have, teach you maybe a couple of techniques on how to do it, but really you can learn everything you need to just by following your own breath. If you need any training, this is the training. Sit quietly, upright in a chair on the edge of your bed, close your eyes, breathe in through the nose and lightly out again, okay, in and out. Just count inhale one, exhale two, inhale three, exhale four, inhale five, exhale six. Just keep going until you get to 10. Okay, that's all you need to do. That's all I did for the first, I think, six or 10 weeks that I was doing it. Just counted up to 10. 
and then eventually 20, and then eventually I started setting timers, and maybe you might just say inhale, exhale, or one, two, one, two. Whatever you want, really, and just keep a focus, okay? You don't need much more training than that in the beginning. Um, the key is just to get started, have a play, and then by all means, read around it, go on some things, but you don't need that permission in order to do it, okay? You don't need that training in order to do it, you just need to start. Okay, myth number four is, isn't meditation just a way of sticking your head in the sand, escaping from life's reality, life's problems? Uh, the fact of the matter is that it is anything but that, okay? Aside from all the documented and scientific health benefits to meditation, of which there is another video that I've done many years ago around that, I'll link to that, but in aside from that, Okay, we know there are benefits from blood pressure to heart rate to cortisol levels to all sorts of stuff. In addition to that, you come out feeling a lot clearer and able to tackle the issues that you've got. It's not to say that when you're meditating you're thinking about those issues, you're just clearing your mind from all the clutter so that the mist clears, if you like, and you can see the solution to the issue that you've got in mind. And also, it regulates the stress that you have. And if you're stressed, you can't really think properly anyway. So it's not about escaping into some other world and ignoring the outside world. It is, in fact, about focusing the mind so that you can tackle the problems that you do have in the real world, okay? This isn't about escapism. It's about being practical and actually getting stuff done. And the fifth myth is, don't I have to be all new age and hippie to meditate? Okay, here's the thing. Yes, meditation has been around for thousands of years. Lots of ancient yogis and uh, all sorts of people meditating throughout history. When it came into the West, I guess in the big way in the 60s, popularized by the Beatles and people, it became all a bit new agey, a bit hippie. But Firstly, let's just be uh, frank about it. It's not new age, it's old age, if anything, because it's been around for 5,000 years or more. And there are many, many top level executive CEOs who meditate. In fact, probably over half of Fortune 500 CEOs have got some kind of meditative practice, uh, FTSE 100. Anyone who's top of their game, athletes, they will be incorporating some form of meditative practice Okay, it's not about being new age, there are plenty of people and I think we've dismissed that now because meditation in the last three to five years has really taken a bit of a boom if you like and people are doing it all over the place and it's not really about some yogi in um, a weird outfit uh, or your weird friend down, down the road who does meditation. Um, probably a lot more people wearing suits do meditation than you probably realise. So definitely not new agey. Definitely give it a go. Okay, so ultimately I just want to say meditation is nothing to be scared of. You don't need to have hours and hours in the day. If you've got two minutes, you spend two minutes. You've got 10 seconds, you spend just 10 seconds doing a micro meditation. It's not all new agey. It's not about sticking your head in the sand. Uh, it's not about sitting in lotus position. It's not about having no thoughts or anything like that. It's literally spend some time, sit in a chair, somewhere where your spine is upright so you can breathe nice and easy. Focus on something, either a count or your breath or something like that and spend, maybe set a timer for two minutes just to do that, two minutes a day just before you go to bed. That's how I started and you'll find immediate benefit, okay, immediate benefit. So give it a go. Hope that has helped in terms of busting meditation, giving you a, an idea that actually, you know, you don't need to be schooled in it. You can just give it a go and I want you to give it a go right now. So until next time, remember to like, share, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you very soon. Take care, stay strong, stay super. Bye-bye.